I'd like to tell you a story today about a 13-year-old girl. She liked to draw, hang out with her friends, and play with her dog, Max. Now, I'm sure you know, but that 13-year-old girl is me. And that is my second of two mushroom cuts. But <laughs> this talk is not about my 90s hair choices. That's a whole other discussion that would probably take a really long time. Um, one thing I really loved was music. And my love of music turned into a want to share it. So I decided to start making mixtapes. Mixtapes were great because they allowed you to take all your favorite music and tailor it into a 90-minute collection. Don McKinnon from the music site Milk said that mixtapes changed everything. They were the fulcrums by which content was de-aggregated from its larger works. They allowed us to take all our favorite stuff, put it all together in a collection, add our own commentary, and then share it with our friends. So what went into making a sweet mixtape? Well, first you needed your tools. You needed really sturdy tapes, the, the kind you could tape over again and again and again. <laughs> the kind where if the, the tape fell out, you could put the pencil back in and roll it back and, and use it again. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you also needed a decent boombox, the kind with the buttons that were really precise, so you're waiting for that song, you waited for the perfect moment and it would work. You also needed your tunes. Now, I wasn't always the best at this. I did make a mixtape that featured Color Me Bad, Whitney Houston, and Nirvana. All great in their own right, but definitely questionable as a mix. But what I did do really well at times was tailor that mix to my audience. Music wasn't just randomly added to the tape. It was there for a purpose. Maybe it was to tell a story. Maybe it was for a friend. Or maybe it was to reflect the mood of the time it would be listened to. Another great thing about mixtapes was adding those annotations, those titles, and that cover art. I would labor over that, and it was always the most fun part. Making mixtapes required patience, precision, and attention to detail. Music wasn't just randomly added. Like I said, it was added for a purpose, and that's what made mixtapes so great. And then the best part, too, about making the mixtapes was sharing those with your friends. Many of the times, we would make the mixtapes for a purpose for that friend, to share it just with them. Now, what I didn't realize at the time was that by making mixtapes, I was being a curator. And curation is something usually associated with art galleries or museums, but it's something we do all the time. Maybe today, we're not curating using C100 Great Light Rock hits, like I used to do, but we're using content from all over the web from various sites. We're also curating our social media profiles on Facebook and Instagram. But there's one difference with the mixtape. The mixtape was more purposeful. With social media, we make those profiles, but whoever sees it, sees it, or we share it with many. But when we made the mixtapes, we had a creative process. We had a process that was really tailored to that audience. And it's a process that we can actually use today in our classrooms that supports media literacy. So how can we take that mixtape process and add it into our classroom? Well. We won't use old cassette decks, we won't use old boom boxes, but we can use digital curation tools like Evernote, Wakelet, and Padlet. They're great tools, and they allow us to do things like sourcing, organizing, categorizing, and annotate. They give us the steps we need to make those steps. The other great thing about these digital curation tools is you can globally share. Remember the best part of a mixtape, other than the cover art, was sharing it with your friends. And these sites allow you to do that, but across the globe. They allow you to collaborate, add feedback, and gather opinions. After all, the greatest thing about mixtapes was adding those personal touches. The, great about thing, the greatest thing about mixtapes was making it personal. Thank you.